The San Diego City Council is considering closing a popular tourist spot in La Jolla where sea lions congregate year round. ABC 10 News reporter Austin Grabish is live with the controversial plan. Austin. Good evening, Kimberly. Some want the area just around the corner from me closed year uh, year round and others say not so fast. But the question really is how close should you be getting to these sea lions? And we asked an expert to find that out today and she had some really good advice for us. She's from SeaWorld and she told us that people really shouldn't be getting this close like we're seeing right now live with tourists from around the world here. In fact, Kim Peterson says on Sunday when there was a video that went viral with uh, sea lions charging toward the beach here where I am, um, that that was not actually a case of the animals charging toward people but rather the beach and she says right now the mammals are fighting over territory and while there's nothing preventing tourists or even us from getting here up close with the sea lions right now just around the corner there is that area that's closed off in fact point la jolla is not accessible until the end of october and city council is looking at making that closure year round kimberly and peterson says what's key is remembering that sea lions are unpredictable they shouldn't understand that sea lions are wild animals and they can potentially be dangerous. Okay. The area is open to the public right now, so there's no reason that they can't go to that area. Uh, but they do need to be aware that there are potentially dangerous animals that come to that beach. As you can see here tonight, lots of tourists from around the world getting up and close with the animals, going for a swim with them. And that expert we talked to says we could be seeing more of these sea lion battles. She actually tells me that she's getting reports of these sea lion battles happening all the way from Camp Pendleton to the border. Reporting live in La Jolla, Austin Grabish, ABC 10 News. A big issue in our county. Thank you, Austin, for that update.